Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now today we are back in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Yes, I haven't played this one in a while, mainly because there has been a new update for the Flight Simulator, which actually ended up killing it. Yeah, I wasn't able to play it, so I had to completely reinstall and rebuild the simulator for some reason, but now it, it works again. This is also like a test here with the new RTX 3080 graphics card, and I'm not overwhelmed by the graphical performance. I'm running this on, on high-end, by the way. Yeah, this is actually the high-end settings without motion blur turned on. A thousand dollar graphics card is not able to run the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 properly. A little disappointing, to be quite honest, but that is a whole other story. Today, let's actually pay a little bit more attention to the 787 here in the Flight Simulator. Yeah, a lot of people have actually told me to take a look at that one, because apparently the 787 has a very interesting interesting stopping performance indeed. So let's just try that out today. How long of a runway does the 787 actually need to operate? Now, of course, I checked Google prior to recording this video. Apparently, the 787 under full load needs a runway of 8,500 feet, which is around 2,600 meters, which really isn't too long. Uh, I think this runway is quite a lot longer than that. I think this is around 9,000 feet. So no problem under full load. The 787 can totally operate here at Nice Airport, which it definitely should be able to. I mean, this is a high-profile international airport, even though it doesn't have the longest runways. You know, the, you know, the runway lengths are actually limited to, uh, you know, the sea here that's also here. But that's a whole other story. Let's just go ahead and take off the 787, which on paper shouldn't be a problem at all. By the way, when I say on paper, I mean, you know, it, we can definitely use this plane on much shorter runways than 8,500 feet. All right, let's just... Uh, take off here. There we go. We have nicely taken off in the 787. Of course we have. Okay, now while we are actually here, let's go ahead and try landing this plane on a little bit of a shorter runway. For example, we could go to uh, Nakhonsi. I, I have no idea, but... But this airport has a 6,800 feet long runway, which by the way is around 2,100 meters. So we're definitely pushing this beyond the limits actually at this point. 2,100 meters, that would on paper not be enough to fly a 787 here. I mean, at that airport in Thailand or something, you can only see 787s and maybe some ATR turboprops flying anyway. So yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, the weather over here isn't that good. Let's, uh change that real quick. Oh, it's synced the life weather here. We don't want that. We want clear skies so that we can try to experience the whole runway here. Again, 2,100 meters. 500 meters shorter than needed on paper, apparently. Okay, but let's get this plane ready, though. Spoilers are armed, I guess, I think. Let's make this a successful landing. And we still have to say, though, Microsoft Flight Simulator is absolutely beautiful. This new graphics card is genuinely running worse than my 2080 RTX. All right, now it is time to come in for a landing. I can already tell this is not the longest runway, but this should not be a problem. FPS is really bad. God damn it. All right, maybe a little bit of a harder landing, but let's go ahead and try getting this plane stopped or something, which we definitely have. Jesus Christ, that was a super quick stop. Indeed, this uh, didn't even use like one third of the runway. All right, all right, I'm up for something, but we have to actually turn down these graphics before we move on to another airport. Let's maybe go even smaller than that. Let's maybe go to a way smaller scale. Let's maybe return back to Europe. All right, yeah, let's maybe go to San Tropez airport. This one has a much, much shorter runway at 3,700 feet, which is barely more than a thousand meters, but I think this will be a successful landing anyway, so, you know, nothing to lose here, really. We just have to take a little bit of a bigger step now. Much shorter runway, but again, no problem, I guess. Yeah, this is San Tropez Airport. I have already made one or two videos about this plane. I don't know. Let's just see if the 787 can land here, and there's some weird graphic bug going on here, like some weird flickering. I'm really Really not satisfied with the new flight simulator, to be honest, especially with the performance. With X-Plane, by the way, this uh, graphics card runs perfectly well, by the way, with a maximum graphics. But all right, let's get this plane landed down on the runway. All right. Okay, I'm coming in very low to use the most of this runway possible. Oh, 
No, not a smooth landing. I'm gonna have to try getting this plane stopped as quickly as possible. We have managed to stop this plane on one third of the runway again. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. All right, all right. So then we can even take uh, bigger steps, I guess. All right, now the question is though, how do we move on? I mean, we can go to Greece because, uh, you know, there are a, quite a few small airports here on these small islands here in Greece. Uh, for example, we have 2,600 feet long runway. I think... Mm, that will be long enough, even for the 787. I'm very much surprised by this plane, actually. So let's just try this one. All right, we have the airport of uh, something ahead. I don't know. Let's just try that in this plane down there. We're not joking around here. This is not a long runway, but I think we'll make it anyway. There we go. But I think we'll actually make it to a stop, right? All right, this is actually starting to get ridiculous. Like, genuinely. All right, all right. I, uh, I accept that, definitely. And I hope that the FPS actually is usable for the video, right? But that's a whole other story. This is actually, this is super interesting. Let's try going to the Caribbean. Yeah, let's go to the infamous airport of St. Bartholomew here in the Caribbean Sea. Um, let's just see what we can do here. By the way, 2,100 feet long runway, not a long one at all. So let's just see what we can do here. All right, welcome to the Caribbean in the 787. Let's see if we can get this plane stopped here. I mean, this should probably be the absolute limit that this plane can do. I mean, on paper, it shouldn't even be able to fly here at all, right? So this is already an achievement, isn't it? All right, let me just say this is gonna be a pretty hard landing, huh? All right. <laughs> okay, this is genuinely getting ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, we could even take this a level further. We go to the neighboring island of Saba. Let's do that as well. I mean, come on. There's got to be an end somewhere. This is actually the shortest commercial runway that there is. I'm kind of starting to doubt the physics of the Microsoft Flight Simulator as well, if I'm being honest. But let's just see what we can do here. All right, come on. Oh. Oh well, alright, uh, it is a landing. Let's call this a landing. So, yeah guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.